Good morning. My name is Tim Todd, and I have the privilege of serving as the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Murray State University. Welcome to our 2020 commencement. To begin the ceremony, we will have the singing of the National Anthem by Dr. Christopher Mitchell. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the rampart we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. At this time, Mr. Wes Claiborne, representing the United Campus Ministry, will come forward and deliver the invocation. Would you bow with me? To the author, creator, and sustainer of all things, thank you for today and the life you blessed us with this morning. Thank you for your love and mercy, your patience with us, and the many gifts you have given us that we overlook each day. This morning, we invite you and welcome you here with us to celebrate the stories of these students. God, we ask that you join us as we bless them today. May their minds be sharpened by experience, but never too dull to learn from others. May their ears be open for opportunities, but not only for themselves. May their words bring healing to this broken world and their ears listen for the sounds of hope. May their hearts be full, but always have room for more. May their hands always create and never tear down. May they forgive and never forget they were once forgiven. May they love and never forget that they are loved. May they strive to do what is right and admit wrong with the same courage. May they praise others and not just themselves. May they speak well, but not forget how to listen. May they have enough success to be confident and enough failure to be humble. Finally, Father, and perhaps most of all, may they choose today to be a blessing in this world, in every situation, every circumstance, and in every season. We pray all these things for every student present and for ourselves as well. And together we say, Amen. Thank you, Wes. Murray State University, as an institution of higher education, has many processes that make things work. But when you really focus on the one critical process of why we exist, it's the process of teaching and learning. That process is led by the wonderful faculty of Murray State, and I'm very proud of my faculty colleagues in all disciplines here. Thank you for all that you do for our students, and today, our graduates. I'm equally very proud of my staff colleagues across our great university. Without the key accomplishments of our staff, the teaching and learning aspect would not exist. Thank you for all you do for our students and today, our graduates. It is now my privilege to introduce another distinguished member of the faculty and the 14th president of Murray State University, Dr. Robert L. Jackson. Graduates of 2020, congratulations. I want to leave you with a few parting words today, but first, one thing is for certain. We will definitely remember 2020. It was a year for the history books, a year which you'll always remember. 
I'm pleased to recognize the members of Murray State University's Board of Regents. First, Jerry Rhodes, our chair from Madisonville. Eric Krigler from Bloomington, Indiana. Virginia Gray, Hopkinsville. Sharon Green, Mayfield. Warren Norman, our student regent from Henderson. Leon Owens from Paducah. Lisa Rudolph from Kirksey. Phil Schooley, our staff regent from Murray. Dr. Melanie Schimberger, our faculty regent from Murray. And Dr. Don Tharp from Nicholasville. This past year, we were forced to quickly learn about a new disease, the need for face mask, viral testing, regularly washing our hands and taking our temperature. We learned the term social distancing, quarantine, and isolation. We learned that Zoom was not only a measure of speed, but a new communications and teaching tool. This past year left an indelible mark on all of us. Also, this past year reminded us of many key things in life, positive things, regarding the significance of medical science, public health initiatives, the importance of friends and family, the inherent good of people, and the value of education. During this past year, we saw the resilience of students, the perseverance and creativity of faculty, and the strength and determination of our staff. Admiral Bill McRaven, who spoke in Lovett Auditorium this past February, made a statement in one of his books and has become one of my favorite quotes. He said, we will all find ourselves neck deep in mud someday. This is the time to sing loudly, to smile broadly, to lift up those around you and give them hope that tomorrow will be a better day. Most importantly, as you leave these halls, whether you decide to go into the workforce, go to graduate or professional school, or the military, simply go out and do good. This is your opportunity to change the world. This is your opportunity to make a difference. The next generation with all that we have learned belongs to you. And finally, as you look back at your life in 25 or 50 years from now, know that you left the world just a little bit better than you found it. As you leave here, Always remember those special times and tradition. Cherish them. Whether it's all campus sing, meeting new friends in your residential college, campus lights, Saturday afternoon football games, homecoming, the parade, Tent City, Racer One, the Shoe Tree, Racer Band, the Shield and Three Stars, Hope, Endeavor, and Achievement your life-changing studies, the world-class faculty and caring staff you met here. Remember Dr. Rainey T. Wells standing in the quad and Dr. John W. Carr greeting you in the mall area. These special memories and traditions go on and on. And finally, as your alma mater states, this is truly the finest place we know. Again, congratulations and God bless and safe travels during your journey ahead. Hello, my name is David Whaley, Dean for the College of Education and Human Services. It is an honor to represent the college at this fall commencement exercise. These graduates are our new professionals who have successfully navigated a rigorous program of study, leading to both an academic degree as well as in some cases the state's requirements for an educational certificate. In many cases, these are new graduates that have held down a full-time job while taking a full load of classes each semester. These are graduates that persevered over lack of sleep, late night study groups, and even got out occasionally for an early morning run. These graduates are our future and our future looks bright. Our graduates will face challenges as the advancements of our society have increased exponentially. Did you know that the top 10 in-demand jobs in 2020 did not exist in 2010? That the first commercial text message was sent in December 1992? Today, the number of text messages sent and received every day exceeds the total population of the world. Did you know that there are 1.9 billion registered users of Facebook? In fact, if Facebook were a country, it would be, the lar it would be larger than China. Knowing a number of our graduates, I have great confidence that the future of our workforce system is in very good hands. 
I join with you in being immensely proud of our graduates from the College of Education and Human Services. Congratulations. President Jackson, it is my privilege to present to you the candidates for doctoral, specialist, master's, baccalaureate, and associate degrees. On behalf of the outstanding faculty of Murray State University, we recommend that the appropriate degree be conferred upon each candidate.
By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky through the Board of Regents of Murray State University, I hereby confer upon you the appropriate degree with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Graduates, congratulations again, and go racers. <laughs>